Okay, so part two, we're going to look at using some more advanced formulas to work out the basic rate and higher rate of tax. Everything else can stay the same because they were um, basic formulas. So the last time when we did it, we, we worked out if we needed to do basic rate of tax by looking at our taxable income and looking across the limit year and deciding whether or not that was more than that. And that's how we, we did it. We looked at that and thought, yeah, 39,000 is more than that. So they need to pay 20,000 pounds on 32,000. And we worked that out in there. And then we manually worked out the difference between those two. So they've paid tax of 20% of 32,000. They now have 7,000 pound left, the difference between the two that needed to be paid at 40%. And we wrote that in. So we can use some if statements to do that for us. Okay, so I'm going to use the function up here. Um, I'm on a Mac, like I've said, so it looks slightly different to a Windows PC, but it's still a formula builder that pops up. You may have most recently used if. If you don't, type if in there, push enter, it'll come up, and you've got if here, okay? So you'll then have different type of window, but you'll have logical test, value of true, value of false. So let's do the logical test first. So we did this manually last time. By We compared these two to see what should be paid. So let's get the computer to do that. Let's have a look and see if the taxable income is more than the limit on the on the basic rate. So to do that, we use the cell. So we look, is that cell greater than that cell? You notice at the moment it says true because at the moment it is true. There's because of the pay I put in here, it's on £39,000. So yes, it's more than that. So what do we do if the value is true? So if the value is true on that, we take um, F2 and multiply it by 20%. Yeah, because we need to work out 20% of £32,000, the 32,000 proportion of that. So we can say that times that. Okay, 6,400. Anybody that pays the basic rate of tax, uh, sorry, the higher um, bracket tax and has an £11,000 personal allowance, that's how much tax they pay every year on basic rate. So you know if that comes up, you know you've done it right when, when it's at 20%. So now we've got the value if false. So if that wasn't bigger than that, okay, this number in here could be, you know, it's going to be less than that number up there. Okay, so they're only going to play basic rate. So we need to work out what 20% of that would be. All right, so that's that times the 20% again there. Okay, and we could then run that. So 6,400. So we could test this. Now we can change values in, in here. So if we go to um, 20,000. There you go. We've got um, this altering and changing in here. Um, I'm working out the correct the correct numbers. Let's pop it back to fifty thousand for now and work out the higher rate. So we've worked out the basic rate, which was thirty two thousand pounds at twenty percent, six thousand four hundred. We now need to work out the rest of it. So it's the difference between these two. So last time we we manually calculated seven thousand and times it by forty percent. So what we need to do now is get the computer to do that We're using an if statement. So FX formula builder will open. It should be in your most recently used now. So we need to compare the two cells again. So let's have a look and see if B6 is greater um, than, F2, than F2. Okay. Let's see if B6 is greater than F2, which is true. Now this is where it might be slightly more tricky for you. Okay. Great. I was just scrolling it around. If that's true, okay, if the answer to this is, yeah, that's bigger than that, we need to work out the difference between them, a minus, and multiply by 40%. So we need to use some brackets. So we're going to say 39,000 B6 minus the 32,000. That's going to be 7,000 in here, in here, times the upper pay there. So that's 2,800. Now, if the value is false, if that cell greater than that, if the answer to that is not true, if it's less than 32,000, they don't pay up a rate tax at all. So we can just pop the zero in there. Done. And there you can see 6,000. And that's the same as we had last time. 
but everything will manually change now. A really good way to test this is put the limit on, which is £43,000. You should pay £6,400 in tax with an £11,000 personal allowance. Your higher rate is naught. If I turn, if I go a pound over, I go up into the upper tax bracket and I pay 40% of a pound, which is 40p. Okay, so I hope this makes sense. Have a little practice. Try and, you know, interpret the formulas up here. Work through them yourself so you, you can get to understand them. If you can implement these when you come to doing the control part of this work in the financial uh, literacy element, um, you'll be creating a, an effective spreadsheet using the high-level numeracy as well with all these comparisons in here. Okay, so if you can use this and you can um, do this tutorial a few times to get your head around it, um, you'll be on course for some good marks. Okay, thank you.